Good morning, my name is Andy Smith. I'm the Southeast Regional Sales Manager here at Aspen Avionics. And so I want to take a moment to talk a little bit about the new software that we released a few months ago, uh, 2.12. Um, the main, the main uh, purpose of it, a lot had to do with it, was to do the baseline of the GFC 600 digital interface that we have now. Um, that digital interface is going to give you, with the, with the software unlock, it's going to give you the altitude, um, and in, altitude pre-select and indicated airspeed selection as well as digital flight director. Currently, right now, it's only on the pre-1984 Bonanzas with the um, flat panel right now, but uh, hopefully soon we'll have a bunch of more airframes added to that. It did also add the Eric 429 outputs for the Trio and the Bendix King autopilots, um, the AeroCruise 100 um, for some pre-select stuff um, that hopefully they'll be working on that soon. Some of the user interfaces um, improvements is that they, we added some extended runway information uh, for the pilot there on the MFD and reduced the auto max brightness from from the 70 to 50. We had a lot of feedback that when it went to max bright, it just blinded you. So we uh, reduced it down to 50%. Some uh, dealer improvements, the software for you guys out there, um, expanded fault logs so that we're able to grab a lot more information from what happens to the unit if there is a failure or any, any information like that so that we can troubleshoot a lot more better with you guys out there and really dive down and figure out what went wrong and why anything went wrong. Um, it does have a better AHARS performance in it and along with that is an updated EA100 software that you'll need because the, the better performance on the AHARS as well as some uh, DFC90 software um, fixes and update there. And then, of course, the teaser, other provisions for future <laughs> improvements that we can add later on. Um, along with the 212 software, we, we, uh, we certified the EF E5 and, and uh, got it TSO'd. So what a TSO does to the E5 is that it's going to simplify our production in, in the factory, and it's going to reduce the lead times and repair times. Um, it's going to allow us to do more, more software and more updates quicker because of the, the certification, because of the hardware is exactly the same between the, the Pro Max and the E5. So it's going to expedite a lot of stuff going forward. Just like on the Pro Max, we did add the Eric 429 um, outputs for the Trio and the, the Bendix King Autopilots. The E5, if you do have a customer that, that has an E5 and wants to do the upgrade to the 212 and grab some of that, uh, some of that feature and functionality, the, the unit does have to come back to us for a little bit and then we can put the software on there and update the hardware. Come see us at uh, booth 900. It's always a good conversation. Come uh, shake our hands and meet everybody. So appreciate everybody coming out. Thank you. Aero News Network's coverage of the 66th Annual AEA International Convention and Trade Show, live from Orlando, Florida, is brought to you in part by the following sponsors.